Hey, what's up everybody? BDM44 coming at you with another video. All right, so the Los Angeles Lakers and Russell Westbrook both have an agreement to part ways this offseason, if possible. Um, that's good news for everybody involved. We know there won't be a fight um, in this situation. I think it's already understood that the Lakers are definitely looking to move on from him. Uh, for him to be in agreement with it just helps the situation along. Uh, I'm sorry that things didn't work out here in L.A. with him, uh, for him. Um, as a Laker, but I do believe that if he were uh, under different circumstances, uh, if this were under the circ different circumstances, rather, uh, we'd have a better version of him and he'd have a better version of us at the end of the day. Um, you know, it's not just him, you know, failing us. I think the organization most definitely didn't provide him the best opportunity to succeed or put him in the best position to, to fit. And I think that, you know, he, he was the scapegoat for a lot of what went wrong when we had a lot of problems. Uh, and even though that's been pointed out, I don't believe it's been pointed out enough. So uh, while he has looked his worst, uh, I, I do hope for the best for him going forward and that he finds himself in a situation where um, he can be himself and find his confidence again. You know, that's what it's all about. So, uh, you know, not only that, but let's face it, I don't think anybody can win here as long as we were constructed the way that we were. Now that we shave ourselves down to two contracts, in theory, hopefully the Lakers are able to do that uh, instead of exchanging for the same salary um, in terms of it being one player. Now, if you could spread it out amongst three or four players, cool, that's great. But you don't want to swap contracts like a John Wall or something like that. I would rather not anyway. But, um, you know, this is, this is good. Now, the question is, will we find anyone that will be willing to do it? Being that his contract expires at the end of next season, I think we will. Um, somebody will take it on. The Pacers or something like that. Somebody will take it on. I think um, it'll probably be a tanking team. Um, someone that doesn't really have high hopes, uh, but uh, is looking forward to maybe being summer uh, 2024 players, possibly. Uh, guys who will want that, that, that salary to be removed off of their books as his contract expires. So... Uh, they're, got, they're out there. They are out there. I think uh, I feel much better about us being able to get rid of him uh, this offseason than we were able to, uh, of course, at the trade deadline. Just that didn't look feasible. But this this looks this is definitely possible Now we will have to overpay to get rid of him. Um, but it's already understood that they're not going to give up that pick. So in my mind, uh, we'll probably be taking back salary. I'm assuming we're going to lose Malik Monk, maybe a few others. So we'll have roster spots. Uh, we'll have that requisite amount of cap space, whatever it'll be. Probably not too much. But, um, you know, I, th I think at the end of the day, the Los Angeles Lakers do understand that now we won't have any issues getting Russell Westbrook on board with moving along. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully we can find him a new home. And, uh, you know, as far as the Lakers, I think the next step is to figure out if they really want to do this with AD and Bron. Um, if you can get rid of Russell Westbrook, it certainly makes it so that it's possible to get back a, a really good uh, return and maybe be able to swing your way into some good players uh, to kind of help, you know, because that's really what it's about, having enough money to pay all of the uh, role players that the Lakers are going to need to pay. And with three contracts smushing your uh, your caps t you know to that level uh, it's just nearly impossible to get quality talent you're seeing what's going on in, in Milwaukee right now where you know they can start to slip because their bench isn't as strong because their money's wrapped up in Middleton Holiday and uh, Giannis now as long as those guys are healthy you know they can bulldoze anybody but as soon as they have any issues the weakness of that depth starts to show and they're in trouble. Same as Brooklyn, same as us. It's just how it goes. So um, I'd rather the Lakers move forward with just two, as I've said many times. And um, I, I think we can build a much more competitive team if we do that. Uh, so there will be scrubs. Scrubs, you don't have to be scrubs, but there will be players on the back of the bench that may not be as productive early on. And that is why um, I'm hopeful that the Lakers just give some un, unnamed, un, undrafted guys some opportunities. Uh, because if we're going to use those those um, spots for anyone, 
and let it not be for players that can't help us. I think this le this year taught us that lesson. So, um, you know, as we move forward trying to move on from Russell Westbrook, I do believe that we'll probably be taking back some overpaid guys, like Evan Fournier or somebody like that. Um, so be prepared for not exactly loving the contract you get back, but hopefully it's just not a swap of the same. That's all I'm asking. So, uh, yeah, man, that's what it is. Obviously, the Los Angeles Lakers are coming off a bad loss against Dallas. Um, you know, it is what it is. We understand that we're just not that great of a team right now. But um, you do hope that we can continue to see uh, lineups with a lot of young players in it. And, you know, let it let it be that, whatever it's going to be. We know that our pick goes straight to New Orleans, so we're not going to even <laughs> – we're not gonna even look at it if we don't miss the play. If we miss the playoffs, we're not gonna uh, have any hopes of, of retaining that pick. Um, maybe we get lucky and it's a swap of some sort. I doubt it though. I doubt it. I think this this particular year wouldn't be so. Yeah, man. We just live with it. We just live with it. We 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 take the loss. We're not the only team that's ever had to go through something like this. Uh, but we understand the next season. Um, you know, we have an opportunity to rebuild or to retool, rather, if we don't want to get rid of everybody. And, um, you know, it's important that we get this right. I would imagine Jeannie wants to make some changes before making big moves. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how the Lakers try to squeeze all this into this short timeline. And that's what I'm really thinking about is with all that they have going on, with as, as, as poor as things are being run at the moment, and as much as they've dragged their feet, it, you just have to wonder if they're going to botch the the moves that they have to make in order to uh, fix the team. You know, that's my thing. It's like, you got time right now. It's March. There should be a whole lot of conversations and, and planning going on behind the scenes to kind of straighten the structure of the place out so that when it's time to make those moves, you don't have any issues about who's in charge or uh, if you're getting the information that's going to actually help you get the results you need. No, you would like those people already be in place. And so I wouldn't wait until June to start making those decisions. Uh, I, I think it's best for the Lakers to start making those now. So that's something I've been thinking about as well. But, uh, you know, it's up to Jeannie, man. You know, I'm just a fan. I'm, I'm hopeful that they'll do what it is that I'm hopeful they'll do. But at the same time, if they don't, um, you know, we'll have to cope with our team. But what you don't want to do is see them start going down the path of being uh, as bad as they look right now for years and years to come. So um, that's my hope is that, that, that I can lend a voice out there and, and uh, let it be what it's going to be. So that's that's my opinion, BDF44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.